All right, so this is the smallest configuration. I, well, okay, actually, this is the smallest configuration I could figure for uh, an infinite loop. Sends it out. Whatever you want to activate would be here. It only sends two charge out, so you'd have to be careful with uh, how much. If you had booster, you could you know, make it send out three that direction. Which would help if you're trying to do like a wooden sword two into a shield later, but I mean, it's an infinite loop. You don't need block. So this is the smallest configuration I can figure. It sends it out to here, destroys the charge, now, what's interesting is you need three uh, spaces for it to travel. I originally thought that meant one, two, three spots after it was destroyed and before it hits this. Where it starts counts as the first, then the second, and where it ends counts as the third. So if I just do... No, let's not do it in that direction. If I just do that, that didn't work. Okay, it doesn't work with that. But it works with the splitter. That's so weird. See, it boosts it up. I guess it's still... Okay, so with the splitter, specifically, it destroys the charge beforehand. And it still counts its block as a thing. But for the start, you need at least a two block gap before it can uh, go up. But anyways, this is the smallest I could figure that makes the infinite loop. Sends out a 3 charge, turns into 1.5, 1.5, and then boosts upwards. 2 is sent down, 2 is sent up. Gets boosted up to 3, gets split again to 1.5, 1.5, boosted up to 2, boosted up to 2. And it just keeps going in this small loop. i put this down with the sword. I'll just activate it twice, it won't go through. If it did go through, you could just easily have a reverser, or if you had two, I don't have a normal one, if you had two rotators, you could get it back into the splitter or back into the booster if it came past it. But that would only work that way if you had, say, amplifiers and double booster. I don't actually know how high that would get. Okay, so since I'm not actually in combat, the boosters won't turn off after the first use. They don't actually disable because there's no turns. But, yeah, all of these numbers would just be up by one at the very beginning. Since they're not changing, they're never going down. And that's because it's a three being split into two. And then it's only going up to four. If I had three boosters to go up to five, it would then become a three, which would be... Wait. But yeah, it would turn into 2.5 and 2.5, which would then send three in each direction, which would then be a five again, which I guess it would just boost up to the one. Anyways, go back to the small configuration. This is the bare minimum needed for a simple uh, infinite loop. Literally just need a splitter, a booster, and some way to get it to the splitter, to the booster, and yeah. Doesn't work that direction. I'd have to do it that way. Because again, it needs two spaces before going into the booster for some reason that direction. But, just to show that it works, I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't work outside of testing. And we're not using something like amplifiers. Of course, it's going to take a while because I, I don't have any damage boost. This is just doing its base 7, well, base 8, with two charges each time. Oh, this is slow. I'm not resetting, though. Uh, so, this is the smallest that I could figure to do it. There's probably a much better way to do it. I guess if I had put a reverser here and here, I need to go back actually. I only have the one reverser, don't I? Unfortunate for this testing run. Yeah, I only have one reverser. But 
I can keep all my damage there and just get rid of these. Uh, drop the amplifiers. put this here instead which would send it out and then I would just send it back and then this would grab it and just send it back through again but if I had a second reverser I could just put it here and then that would just send this charge that way back in which I guess I can with three of these make a reverser let me just get these out of the way and move that over can't do it that close. So yeah, here's my fake reverser. <laughs> so it just send it back. Which is still an infinite loop because of the one charge getting sent this way and getting boosted. I was actually afraid for a second there that the charge that was being sent this way, it's not getting boosted, but it it still holds the charge through the infinite loop. So it would still work if you were unlucky and got two reversers instead of just two pipes or two rotators but yeah let me put my damage buffers back don't need those that that uh, yeah it'll make it slightly slower but I'd like to just have that damage there these are literally just for increasing damage because they had to be close to it and I didn't I couldn't pick up this fucking heavy blade it, it has the heavy attribute which means it falls forward or down and since it was anchored in place I couldn't move it once I dropped it from the ceiling but yeah with that increased damage doing 20 30 per hit sorry it only showed a 20 at first because he had 10 block left on that hit. But yeah, 30 is just going to kill him a lot faster than the 8. As far as I can think of, 4 rotators, 1 splitter, 1 booster, and obviously the core, which you can't leave the core behind when you move forward. That is the minimum amount that you would need to do this. I might even be thinking, like overthinking it, and there might be easier ways to set this up. And obviously everything can be turned. Uh, of course my brain is... My brain doesn't want to think in a way that's a different direction than what I was just doing. That doesn't seem right. That seems right. There we go. That's just it turned. Uh, I wanted to look at it in a different direction to see if I could think of it differently. Oh, around. No, I can't really. Because if I put that there and then move these up and do that, it's not going to be an infinite loop anymore. Or is it? No. Because it can't be boosted after the splitter. It needs to be boosted before it goes, or like through the splitter. So yeah, I think that's probably the smallest you can get it. And then a wooden sword right here. So you could do it if you're really lucky in a 3x3 challenge. <laughs> or if you got something else that can be used multiple times for this one spot. I don't know if you can click on the claw directly that makes you scratch all opponents. But I know that's a one spot. I got that during my uh, small pause challenge. But I didn't click on it, I always clicked on scratch on the top left. But that's the smallest that I can think of right now, at least with what I have. Well, no, because this is the bare minimum of stuff you need. So yeah, this is probably the smallest that you can get in Infinite Machine, at least as far as I'm aware. <laughs>